Twin Cities College student says a recent oil change cost him his car. They just seem like they're refusing to own up to it. The engine on Joe McCullough's Camry quit a few weeks after he paid for a quick oil change. But what another mechanic found now has Joe fighting with a well-known chain to fix his car. Tonight, WCCO's Liz Collins shares what to do first before you drive off from your next oil change. I have been one before, yeah. When the time came to change the oil in his 99 Camry this summer, Joe McCullough pulled into a popular chain. So I went around Roseville after work and uh, most places were busy and so I decided on Jiffy Lube. McCullough says the mechanic finished in 20 minutes, but a few weeks and about 500 miles later when his mom had the car, something went wrong. She said that it just started getting slower and slower. Um, wouldn't quite get up to speed and then it eventually just died. They had the car towed to a new mechanic that told the Makulas Jiffy Lube never drained the car's old oil and never put any new oil in that day. The oil change is definitely on there. That mechanic took this picture that he says shows about 10 ounces of old oil. Had it been new, he says there would have been much more and it would have been much lighter in color. With tax, it was 2705 now Joe is looking at a bill of $2,000 for a brand new engine. They just seem like they're refusing to own up to it. A Jiffy Lube spokesperson told WCCO a mechanic they hired found Joe's engine failure wasn't a result of his service visit to Jiffy Lube. That spokesperson also says there were multiple oil leaks in the car. But Joe's mechanic said he found no evidence of leaks. And if the engine had lost that much oil, he says it would have been smoking. The McCoolis thought a simple check of surveillance video would clear it up. Many Jiffy Lube locations are wired with cameras to capture what mechanics do. But a spokesperson said the company only holds the recordings for 60 days. And even though the McCoolis and WCCO asked about that video within that window, Jiffy Lube found no footage from the day the service was performed. Bottom line, mechanics say it's always best to ask whoever changes your oil to show you what they've done before you leave. And you can always pull the dipstick out for yourself to make sure the oil stain is where it should be. It's a lesson Joe learned as his Camry still sits in the shop, unsure if he'll ever make the trip back to a Jiffy Lube again. If I did, I'd definitely check my oil after, and I'll probably do that no matter where I go now. Liz said that the McCoolas are still waiting for Jiffy Lube to pay to repair the Camry, but that doesn't look likely. They have now reported the company to the Attorney General's office.